This is my long overdue review of the Live Q20 Plus from Soundcore. I received this pair of headsets last year and haven't got a chance to do a proper review yet. In my opinion, it has the dramatic improvements over the previous gen, the Live Q20. Here's why. My favorite hardware update, Type-C port is right here. No more micro USB charging. Second, it officially supports pairing with two devices at the same time. You can do that on Live Q20, the original version, but with the Plus, it is officially uh, supported as stated in the back of the box. So double click on this um, power button to enter the pairing mode and you can pick it up from another device, for example, an iPad or MacBook. It also uh, supports phone app connection. The, the Q20 does not support the Soundcore app from which <coughs> you can pick the no noise canceling, transparency mode, or normal, which is mapped to this noise cancellation button here that will toggle through these three options. And you can also hear it in this um, headset from its voice prompt. Voice uh, volume up and down control and the play button stays the same. And the look and feel, I think the, the, the uh, just uh, reused the, the, uh, the old module for creating this new upgrade. Everything else looks the same. Um, and uh, yeah, it's still very durable, comfy cushion plugs, everything's still the same. And what's more, it fixed the, uh, the original bug that, you know, these headband noise would get into that noise cancellation chip or something and cre uh, creaking, uh, introducing the creaking sound. Um, and that bug is not here in this uh, Q20 Plus version. And it also claims to support high-res audio. Well, maybe it's just a marketing term, I don't know. It's really depending on your um, audio file. If you're using high bitrate file, yes. And if you're uh, listening on your Sony Android phone, yes, that's possible. But for iPhone users, this one does not matter at all. Uh, you can also customize the EQ setting here on the app. You can do customize or just pick a default sound core signature um, or whatever, podcast, deep, flat, all these um, settings. But for me, I just go with the default. I, I just, I, I don't even know uh, if I want to use the custom EQ. Yeah, the default sounds great out of the box. You also get the superior sleep um, function in this app. It basically plays uh, white noise through these headset. And that's it. Yeah, I, I like a Q20 a lot. And this is a, this is a fantastic up upgrade. I should have done this video earlier and let you guys know, but you know, I've been busy with other, other stuff. Yeah, great pair of head headsets. I may do a follow up on the audio samples later and range test. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's almost the same. It sounds identical to the um, original version. I couldn't tell any difference. And no, the noise canceling is also great. Yeah, I can highly recommend it, especially the Type C port and. Um, you know, two device connection, no more squeaking sound to sum up. Also forgot to mention, it does support a 3.5 aux input. Um, that is pretty important. If the battery dies, you still get the, you know, line in the wired mode. Yeah, the aux cable is included, USB-C cable included, and uh, the travel pouch. I lost it already. Great product. This is a fantastic product. Highly, highly recommended. Thank you very much for watching.